Bob Evans, Miss Lee. Fine. Fine. So how far are you going, Bob? All the way if I can. <laughs> huh. Moving on with the new releases from Vinegar Syndrome, we have Auntie Lee's Meat Pies. And there's something rather unusual about her meat pies, but we can kind of tell from the cover, and as most horror fans could guess, it's human beings. It's human beings being made into these pies. Uh. And knowing that going into the movie, kind of as a shortcut to a lot of what's happening because they don't really overly explain it. They just assume that the audience is smart enough to know and we do from this 1992 movie that feels that it solidly belongs in the 80s and I kind of like the cast that we've got here as well. We've got Karen Black as Auntie Lee, the devil worshipping perfect housewife that has uh, three or four, I could never keep track, uh, super hot nieces that have a wicked mean streak in them as well and who like to wear as little clothing as possible and tease as much men as they can back to this lair where they're ultimately going to meet their demise and pies <laughs> it's just it's a super fun movie one that although it doesn't offer much in the form of surprises i was really enjoying it Two characters that I particularly liked was Pat Morita, wax on, wax off, as a Sheriff Cole, and Michael Berryman as a kind of put alone um, handyman for Aunt uh, Auntie Lee. Auntie? Yeah. Uh, I was wondering. Yeah. Can I become a policeman? A policeman? they have a lot of interaction and a lot of it is kind of superfluous to the story it doesn't add anything uh, and it doesn't really take away either because it's entertaining padding out that run time to a nice hundred and minutes it's kind of fun interaction and i like the way some of them are really kind of trying to be artistically short um, but kind of fun at the same time now one of the things I really enjoyed about Auntie Lee's Meat Pies is the way the story's kind of divided in two. For the first half, we kind of get the nieces on the hunt for men uh, doing whatever they do to get their supply of meat for the pies. And it's kind of fun and it's kind of a little bit repetitive, but it, it stops before it gets too repetitive. It's fun, it's interesting, and it's kind of tongue in cheek and really well done. And then the second half is when they bring a rock band um, whose tire they shoot out back to the house where they're going to, well, kill them and throw them in the pies. Joining the band was the most important decision in my life. You know, dealing with the fame, okay, that was kind of hard at first until I matured. I got this deep inner strength. I can feel it, Craig. I can feel the vibes from your body as they radiate. And this is where the movie takes a kind of weird turn. It gets really unusual really wacky you get to see uh, the inside of this house you get to see the girls in their element they have their prey they're toying with them in fun ways and it just becomes really unusual and kind of abstract in this imagery at certain points we see a couple of the girls take the guys back to their bedrooms i say bedrooms because they're not really like that one of them is a kind of blue backlit as she does a performance piece for one of the guys the other one which was just wonderful is our black room with a big pit in the middle with a snake in it and two gigantic uh, snake statues in the background and this is a bedroom no functionality there's no bed in the place it's just a weird room to kill someone and a really inventive unusual completely preposterous and fun manner I loved that, to be honest. It was silly, it was over the top, and it was brilliant. A great addition to this movie. The movie looks great. It's shot pretty well. The story, um, although it kind of jumps all over the place, it has enough subplots and extra characters, which I haven't even talked about the private detective. Howdy. Jesus Christ. 
feel that's something that I really need to go into and this you discover in the movie but it's a great kind of addition it constantly keeps the movie going forward constantly having these fun conversations watching the girls tease and taunt the guys uh, into their untimely death is incredibly fun as well and I think Karen Black just holds it all together uh, as the matriarchal figure of Auntie Lee uh, her performance is really fun somewhere between um, the perfect kind of housewife and the devil worshipping cult leader <laughs> which is a fine balancing act to, to really have bless us Color of darkness. It just imbues the movie with a lot of fun. I think Auntie Lee's meat pies are wonderful. I can't wait to watch this again. I can't wait to show it to other people. And I think if you're a Vinegar Syndrome fan, this is a movie that you're probably going to enjoy. Either way, I'd love to know your thoughts on the film. Of course, there's other uh, videos up here if you want to check out more of my content. And of course, subscribe, like, all that YouTube malarkey and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.